Good morning, St George's. It's the last day of the summer term, and usually we'd all be coming together at church for Holy Communion to say goodbye to our year sixes and to say thank you to God for the fantastic term that we'd had. It's a little bit different this year, but we are still going to make sure that we come together today to think about our goodbyes and to celebrate that with God. As we light our candles, together we say... Jesus is the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never put it out. I've been thinking about how people say goodbye in different languages. And here are some of the members of our school community saying goodbye in their family language. <laughs> Wow, we have 48 languages spoken at St George's, so that was just a few. I wonder if you can think about how you say goodbye. Different words in different languages have a slightly different meaning for the word goodbye. Have a look at these ones. This word is Welsh for goodbye and it means big fun. Then we have the German word Auf Wiedersehen and that means until we see again. This word you might know it's Spanish, adios. And adios means in Spanish you're going to God. Then we have French, au revoir. And au revoir means until we meet again. Now this next word is from Hawaii. This is Hawaiian. And this is a word that they use for hello and goodbye. And aloha means love and peace. And finally, we have the Hebrew word shalom. And shalom, you might know, means peace. How lovely to hear what those goodbyes mean. It's fun to be able to think that you're wishing someone fun and love and peace when you say goodbye to them. There are times when saying goodbye can be really difficult. And sometimes we try to make a joke of it. So sometimes people might say, see you later. And somebody will say, not if I see you first. And sometimes you'll hear people say, see you later, alligator. And often people will reply, in a while, crocodile. We all have ways that we prefer to say goodbye. I like to say goodbye with a big cuddle. And that's been really hard for me in the last few months, not to be able to cuddle everybody when we say goodbye. And it's really hard to think about not being able to cuddle all of you year sixes today when you leave school. But goodbye actually means God be with you. God be with you. As Christians, we believe that God is always with us. And it's good to remember that when people leave us. They are not left on their own. Whether it's just over the holidays or as some of you move to a new school, we all wish you the very best. And as we say goodbye, we pray that God will be with you wherever you go. As we say goodbye to this school year, I want to take a minute just to stop and acknowledge how amazing you have all been. There have been some really tough times for all of us over the last few months, and I've been so proud of each and every one of you for how you've handled things. So I really do wish you a wonderful holiday, rest well, and God be with you. Let's say a prayer together. We thank you, God, for all the languages we can speak and have learned about today. Help us to show peace and love towards one another. We pray that we will have lots of fun over the holidays and that we will remember that wherever we are, you are there too. We pray for those who are leaving us today to move to different schools. Please be close to them and look after them wherever they go. 
Thank you for their lives and their friendship. We send them off today in your peace, with joy in their hearts, safe in your love. Amen.